My Gemini, my Gemini, my Gemini, my Gemini, my Gemini, yeah. What's going on, twins? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a twin between the 1st and the 15th of December? Hmm? Hmm? Are y'all choosing y'all? Y'all gonna get out y'all feelings and say that shit? Hmm? Say it with your chest when you say it. Make sure if you say it, you put all your airways and your <sighs> into it. When you say it, if you're going to say some shit, Gemini, it's time to be happy. Are you afraid to be happy? That is the question. This will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Gemini between the 1st and the 15th of December. I know, I'm late. I'm always tardy to the party. I've been going through my own ascension myself, y'all. This is a quite the damn journey. Um, I will say, Gemini, I love y'all. I love y'all perseverance, and I respect you guys so much for your ambitious spirits that you do have. I truly, I'm a, I have a Gemini in my Venus. My son's a Gemini, and I gotta say, y'all are really one of my faves of the Zodiac. I love y'all so very much. This is not a personal reading, y'all. It's a general. If you need a personal, that information will be in the description. Um, please hit me up for that, okay? Y'all better get it in, because I'm gonna go on a badass vacation. And when I say badass, I mean, um, I may or may not do these general readings for the month of uh, February. I'm, I'm going to rock us up, but then bring us in January. But for February, it's questionable. It just depends on what the hell is going on in my life. Um, but I'm just really ready to just move on to green pastures. And I feel the Gemini of no other zodiac definitely fills me on this, okay? For some of you all, this has been a rodeo. Y'all, but we made it. We fucking made it. Hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, I cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find one of the beautiful readers on YouTube who can resonate with you better without cussing. This is my shit though. I'm a cuss. Okay. To my new old uh, to my new subscribers, to my uh old subscribers, all of us is family. Y'all all family to me. So to my family, both new and old. New ones, welcome to the family. We are the dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We lead that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we cuss. We share, we love, we enlighten, we grow, we evolve. Positive shit on me over here. Um, I think that's all my announcements. With that said, this is for my summer rising Venus and cross watchers for the sign of Gemini. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start with your spirit message. Um, no people are like Mocha, what's the spirit message? Your insides, your inside part, the internal feelings that are not being expressed and that are definitely needing to be expressed. Some of you all are in this period of. I feel that some of you all have been. I feel that you're you're you're, you're very sensitive. Your your intuition is on fleek first and foremost, but you're very sensitive during this time. A lot of you all are really going over where you've been, where you are now, okay? And I feel that you just really want to move on to greener pastures, but you're really needing to communicate that. A lot of you all, you're holding emotions that are unheavy, ain't that? Sh that are unhealthy, that are unheavy, unhealthy, ain't that shit heavy? It's heavy. It's heavy, okay? Even when I began shuffling um, you guys' cards, y'all, it was the feeling of heaviness, okay? I feel that you guys, a lot of you all want to move forward, all right? You just really want to get your shit, even though you only got to take every damn thing because you know how to create. You are a creator. So I feel that a lot of y'all are in this place where I just want to move forward. I want change in my life. I want to manifest this sense of newness. I deserve that, okay? I feel that some of you all, some of you all really want to move forward towards a divine partnership, okay? And I feel like a lot of you all during this time are going to be kind of trying to come to terms with both your masculine and feminine qualities within the self. I feel that a lot of you all have great, these huge creative ideas, but you're holding them, yet you're feeling stuck. Yet, and some of you all who are holding them and feeling stuck, you really, really, really want to persevere. You want to move forward. You know that your ideas are gold, but you're sitting still on them. You're holding them. You're not communicating uh, those ideas. And for some of you, it definitely has to do with love. And I feel internally, you have you guys are really, really, really needing to heal. A lot of y'all third chakra is on fire. It's like you see things before they come. Some of you all during this time are really going to be just in this place of avoiding any type of conflict. I don't want it. I don't want to fight. Look, you see? I'm putting my sword down because I'm going to put my Nikes on and run like hell. I'm over this shit. Some of you all wanting to move towards true love. 
Some of you all have come to terms and will be coming to terms with your twin flame, okay? For some of you all, and I when I say come to terms, I feel that some of you all know your twin flame already, but maybe there's been no communication. Some of y'all, I'm literally hearing hot mess. Some of y'all twin flames may be a hot mess. Some of y'all may be acting like a damn ham, okay? A hot ass mess. But you know what? There's this need to be stubborn because you can't, there's this need to not be stubborn because you can't buy anything with pride. The fact that wasn't shit going on with me vocally and I'm up in here st -st 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 stuttering, some of you all may, may be in a place where you really can't fully express your thoughts during this time, even though Mercury is transiting. Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius, it's time to say that shit, move forward and keep it, keep it pushing. Don't beat yourself up for being great. Some of you all definitely want to move towards true love some of you are you could be dreaming about someone or dreaming about some of you all who have not met your twin flame this is the year that it's your time to shine okay you're gonna meet your twins and with that some of you all are really learning how to love there's this sense of like assertiveness but at the same time heaviness it's like I can actually entertain you with my ego, but behind closed doors, I really have to come to terms with why this feels so uncomfortable to me. I feel like this sense of like a strange, like estrangement, estrangement. Okay, it's like it's not normal, even though I know I'm in love with this feeling. A lot of you all are going to be feeling it's like this sense of euphoria. It's this sense of um, it's 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 euphoric yet purging. I'd say. And it's really, really, really you guys really feeling your way through and really seeing things for what they are. This shit just don't work. And no matter how much I try and super glue, Elma glue this shit together, it doesn't fix how I feel inside. There's this need and strong desire for fulfillment in every aspect of your life right now, Gemini. And it's time to go get it. Go get your blessing. What you waiting on? What you scared for? It's nothing to fear but fear itself. Change is beautiful. Yes, it may be uncomfortable for a little while. Hell, Mocha in the midst of change. It may be uncomfortable for a little while. But you built for this. You've been through very, for many of y'all I'm feeling, y'all been through some very difficult situations. If can't if if can't nobody take shit from Gemini, y'all are survivors. And that is a key aspect of life, as well as love. So it should not be estranged. And you should not be afraid. Let's get into Gemini with this move. What's going on with my Gemini's for love? Let's get it. <laughs> Gemini, some of you are um could definitely be um Trying to manifest your way out of a marriage. Some of you all, you really want to move forward towards a Pisces or a Scorpio. You're in love, Gemini. This is a past life relationship. But some of you all, damn, it could be children, okay? That could be preventing you from moving forward. Some of you all are really needing to heal a situation when it uh, comes to some type of truth that's needing to be revealed that could involve um, a marriage. It could all also involve children. It could also involve a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, an Aries, a Sagittarius. But there is this sense of a new beginning, this sense of newness. There would definitely be some type of truth and clarity either um, surrounding a fire sign. It could also be coming from a fire sign, Aries to be exact, because with this Emperor card I have here. Some of you all could also be um, actually, some of y'all could have a Virgo that's going to be expressing their love to you, but in... in not really it's it's kind of like um how can i put it it's like a pouring that's going to be done okay for some of you all you could be healing from some type of deception that is going to be revealed from you revealed to you during this time but it's all aligning you up everything is divinely orchestrated to move you towards love there's going there's going to be some type of catalytic situation but some of y'all you could be finding out that your lover has a child and maybe you're married to this person but some of you all you could be finding i'm hearing paternity so a lot of you all may be dealing a few of you all may be dealing with paternity issues i heard paternity so strongly some of you all could also be dealing with some type of like fights in court over deeds or some type of like finances 
But some of you all, some of you all, you've been manifesting it, manifesting them coins, and here they, here they damn come. For those of you who are afraid to take a leap of faith or afraid to make a move due to some form of having to adapt or make, afraid to make a move because you feel like you're going to take a financial loss, especially when you're having to like uh, divide things evenly as far as it uh, pertains to a marriage, okay, or children. Some of you are going to be cutting off a Leo during this time. I feel like um, this person could have been trying to hold on to you, but in a manipulative way. I feel like this person could have been, or some of you all are just cutting off any form of manipulation. I feel like you're just going to be courageous. You're going to believe in your damn self that, hey, you know what? I done been here, done this. I got this shit. God got me. And it's, it's about believing that, but you're definitely needing to stand your truth and speak, stand, stand in your truth, set clear and precise boundaries but some of you all some of y'all are going to be setting clear boundaries when it comes to a taurus as well this taurus person could have been dealing with a leo some of you all been really wanting to manifest your new beginning you want newness some of y'all going to be moving some of y'all going to move like a thief in the night some of you all are going to leave someone that you're married with to the point and i'm talking about and some of y'all finna laugh when i say because you know mocha's cold some of y'all going to straight up go to work and not come back because you've already built you. You've already built you a foundation elsewhere. You've already built your fortress. Some of you all, you're going to be, um, there's going to be talks about deeds. I keep hearing deeds or wills or some type of inheritance during this time. And this could also stir up some type of like family drama. And for some of you all, there is some drama that's going to be coming back from, for some of y'all, this is far, far past. But some of you all couldn't expect some type of unexpected visitor during this time, like Someone could pop up unexpectedly with some type of financial, this is going to be a financial blessing, but it's going to be one that can shake your damn world up in comfort because it's going to be the catalyst situation to assist you in movement because you've been feeling it coming, but now it's time to move, okay? But some of you all, you really needing to be truthful. You've been really beating your, beating your own self up about some type of financial endeavor that you want to push forward to. But there's this feeling of feeling like, well, maybe I can't do that. Well, maybe that won't work for me. Spirit say you can have whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. For some of you all, it's to own your own business. And you can have whatever you like. Just do it. Like Nike. Get your ass up. Put the damn shoe on. Run like hell, Gemini. Okay? Move forward. Move forward. When I go, I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to go with no damn woulda, coulda, shouldas. I want to say this life don't owe me nothing. Because everything I wanted to do, everything my heart screamed out to do, God damn it, I did it. You understand? But some of you all, you have an Aquarius holding on to you for money. You're going to get that damn... You, some of y'all are holding on to the damn Aquarius for the cha-ching-ching. And some of you all, this person is going to cut you off. No sweat, no worries. Because there will be some type of truth and clarity. And it could come out in the midst of someone being angry. Some of y'all really need to watch your temper during this time because that showed up very, very, very strongly. But some of you all, I feel that you've been given to possibly two situations for quite some time. And for some of you all, I feel like it definitely has to do with possibly an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, as well as a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But Gemini, it's time to pick a side. Okay? It's time to pick a side. Spirit, why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here? Some of y'all have a water sign coming back from your past. And this could be someone who you have children with as well. Yeah. They want to move forward, but somebody is coming. For some of y'all, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And again, you can have children with this person. For some of you, you're married to this person, but this person is looks like uh, thank you spirit it's a catalyst situation with this justice card for some of you all to m remove yourself and move forward either forward in a marriage or away from it and for some of you all you've been trying to manifest this but you didn't know how the hell to do it yeah so again some of y'all been trying to manifest this and some of y'all been drinking y'all damn lives away stop drinking so much gemini some of you all you really want to wanted to manifest this aquarius in your life and i feel like Maybe stability could have been an issue, but spirit says no worries. Not only am I going to give you what you want, but if you just trust me and take that blind leap of faith, I'm going to bless you in a way that you ain't never. I'm going to bless you in a way that it's going to make your damn head spin. Hell, some of y'all may need some milk, okay, to find the strength to believe that shit because I'm going to be honest with you. Some of you, you want to take that new beginning. You really do. You want to take that offer. But some of y'all have a tourist that's trying to make an offer to you. 
and this person has got secrets out of this damn world, okay? And during this time, that is going to be revealed before you make your decision. I feel that you want to move forward into love, but there's just something that just don't sit right with you. And a lot of y'all are going to figure out what it is. And if it definitely if it involves children or um, an earth sign, water. Yeah, some of y'all want to move forward and be victorious, okay, with this King of Cups. Some of y'all want to move forward and be victorious in love. Some of you are, it's with the fire sign. Every seal sad for some of you is with the water sign. But some of you are, you're healing. You're like, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of being defensive towards the situation. Let me tell you what's up. I'm ready to fucking go. I don't like this job. Fuck you. Fuck the boss. Fuck the receptionist. Fuck all y'all. I'm ready to go. And it's nothing and nobody going to stop the Gemini show. You understand? Spirit, why is this temperance card here? Some of y'all dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah, some of y'all dealing with the Sagittarius, they have a lot of options, okay? And I feel like as much as you wanted to manifest this relationship, you or this person, somebody, somebody just a hoe, Gemini, accept that. It's all right to be, a, it's all right to be in love with a hoe. It happens to the best of us. Hell, that used to be my motto. Hoe plus home, look, hoe plus me equals home. We go together. But you know, it, it's all good, and, it's all good and dandy. But anybody can get along with a person laying down on their back. What type of structure can this person bring your life when you up when it, when it, when it's time to get up on your feet and go get it? You can no longer see beyond that anymore. But some of you all you want to manifest a relationship, okay, or some type of some type of stable security with the Leo, okay? And I feel like you're going to get what you want, but you got to give up something. And for, for, for most of you, it's unhappiness. It's heaviness. It's all of them damn obsessive-ass thoughts. Now it's time to get on your feet. It's time to go. The time is now. It's never the right time. No time is ever the right time, because even when you thought it was the right time, what if some shit happened that you wasn't expecting and you wasn't planning for? What if somebody else thinking about the same shit and, you, and and they up and leave and now you still got to do what you were supposed to do anyway? Think about all the what ifs. For some of you all, you have a financial blessing. Some of you all want to possibly give some type of financial blessing or give some type of like monetary value or you will be receiving some type of monetary value. I feel like I'm hearing I'm sorry. It could definitely, def definitely involve a Leo or a Pisces, okay? For some of you all, there are secrets um, involving the Aries person or the father of your children. Um, this could also be revolving around um, a Virgo, okay? But I feel like once this truth is revealed, you're going to properly heal. Gemini, you can no longer hide behind getting money and giving somebody a damn poker face because you guys feel. You feel. And you can't ignore that. You can ignore that if you wanted to. For some of you all, you have an Aquarius, okay? Or a water sign that is your two of cups. For some of you, it's that damn Leo, okay? And I feel like you love this person, but I feel like you guys are trying to hold on to something that is no longer healthy for you. But some of you all, you're holding on to a Capricorn. I feel that you love this person, but you feel stuck to this person, okay? And or you could be holding on to this person to save your until you save your finances in order to move forward. But some of you all, even though you love this person, okay, I feel that you have put it in your head that financially you need this person when life is showing you, baby. Who been doing for you? You been doing for you. Why do you need this person? Some of y'all have been having issues with sleeping, with just obsessively thinking about moving forward or thinking about moving forward with a fire sign or with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I feel like for some of you, this person have possibly cut you off, could have recently cut you off because they feel like, you know, I'm worthy. For some of y'all, this person is not an asshole. For some of you, you have a very beautiful person and a very beautiful soul. They want to start over. They want to renew love with you. Some of you have a Leo that you can have children with or this person really wants to move forward. Some of y'all got a catalytic situation because you've been given to two situations where some of y'all are going to get pregnant by the side piece. But I feel like that is your ace of cups. That is your divine partner. That is, that is who you're supposed to. To be with. Okay? Some of you all married for the wrong reason. Some y'all, some of you all chose the second option. The second best. You settled. And spirit is giving you a redo. And you're afraid of your own happiness because you're comfortable. But as a transmutable sign, 
You are sent here to transmute negative situations into positive situations. And how do you do that? As above, so below. You move on it. Let God do God's job. Stop worrying about, well, what's the other person going to think? Well, hell, I mean, <laughs> you know what the other person's going to think? For some of you all, you want to make an offer to a cancer. For some of you all, Gemini, you really want to move forward, but you have to move forward in order to make this offer. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Either you're starting cycles or you're ending cycles. And for some of you all, these are your twin flames. But you're going into a new cycle where you can no longer give to two. For some of you all, you want to make an offer to a cancer. Okay? But I feel like even though there's love, you have to... Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Gemini. <laughs> You have to cut someone off. You have to be willing to relinquish something. Speak your stern, honest to God, no attachment to the feelings, truth. Because you're not stuck. You can release yourself whenever you feel like it. Some of y'all really want this water sign. And some of you all, you're really wanting just that time apart from, from everybody. In solitude. Some of y'all got a whole bunch of options, but I feel like you're really being patient with yourself. You don't even want them. What's the outcome for my Gemini spirit? Huh. Yeah. Some of y'all. Yeah. Some of you all, you're going to speak your truth, and this person going to be like, well, let's start over. Let's start over. I want to hold on to this. Some of you all, you're going to leave them like this. I understand, but I've put in work to see no change. And even though we have happy times, my heart desires, my heart, my soul feels like this. So I got to make this judgment. For some of you all, it's to resurrect the family situation. I got to make this judgment. For some of you all, it's to... If you're going to stay at your job or not. Or if you're going to actually try to manifest and move forward on growing what it is that you've been working on. Some of y'all are leaving a job. But for some of you all, it's definitely requiring, it's definitely involving security, stability, happiness, structure, flourishing. But baby, you have to be willing to remove yourself to have this. Because this is keeping you stuck. For some of you all, you could possibly be receiving child support. Finally, a back own child support, okay? And I don't know why I just heard child support. But for some of you all, it's child support from a long, long time ago. And I feel that there's a need to be fair. Because for some of you all, there's a fire sign going to bless your game. And it's a catalyst situation for you to have that foundation, for you to get out your damn head and be accepted to the universe. That things are working for you. And though it may be uncomfortable, it's much needed, much desired, and damn it, well deserved. Congratulations, Gemini. I salute you. You are the baddest VI. I know. Do you understand? I love y'all with my soul. Go get your fire sign and get out your get out your head, get out your feelings, and get out your pride and on your fucking feet. You got this. And you will flourish. If only you believe it. I love y'all, baby. This is what I have for my Geminis between the 1st and the 15th of December. If you need that personal, hit me up, boo. Much love, much light. Namaste.